Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how to make a slide in menu in just a few minutes with just one extra uh, Swift uh, source code uh, in our project. Also, uh, you need to know always there is a link to source code in comments. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna start, uh, but before that, you'll uh, show you how will be our output. So we will have uh, something, uh, you know, navigation bar and uh, up to, you know, you. And uh, when you tab on menu, you will have a slide in menu with icon and uh, options. And as soon as you tap on it, it will go and uh, you will have result on screen or you can do what any action you like with it. Okay, so let's start our project. So we will choose single view app and uh, here we name it iOS Swift ready slide in menu zero one for example okay so as soon as uh, you done uh, you start your project we just only need one extra file uh, that you can pick up uh, from github so you can go to github this is uh, where you can find it but uh, you can just go to google and say looking for sunning github and you will first offer will be this and you will go to respiratories and uh, just type ready and here you will have ready project that can be useful for you and uh, here uh, you go in uh, for a sliding menu and uh, you here this description and also you can go here and we need this file so what I do uh, we can download it or uh, you know we can open it and just pick up the name and come back to your project and here you can add new file choose a Swift file and uh, yes name it uh, Sunin sliding handle and uh, then you can come back here and can select from here to the end and uh, command C then you can go back to your Xcode and here we will replace it and save it so now we have this here or you can just uh, copy a, you know download it there and just drag it here then you will go to view controller uh, you know I just uh, add by myself by my own option that uh, we need to have uh, one navigation bar yeah, we copy one navigation bar here on top you can even stick it to top three you know top corners and right and left and then we need an item in there so yeah I put this item here and I named this item it's gone menu okay so now we will add an action to this menu uh, 
so we will open uh, assistant editor and from this menu control drag here just under view the load and you can name it something like uh, yeah like a slide in menu action also uh, we can add one label here to our view and uh, yeah we will connect that label here as well like uh, we will name it something like menu selection view for example Okay, so now we can uh, close assistant editor and uh, we will go to our view controller so you saw that I didn't do anything extra just some usual thing that I need for my own project not for menu uh, so uh, the first thing I need I need to make a connection to uh, my handler class so I just say let slide in handler equal soon in a slide in handler and parenthesis open and close so now we have an instance uh, and we can start to call it so the second thing is that we need to make sure we need to make our make a delegate self so we will call that instance and then we will just say delegate then you will have selection delegate so we will make this self so by this way uh, we can uh, communicate uh, from there to this one uh, this one gonna be delegate but here we got error that said uh, let's see yeah because uh, we didn't extend this uh, you know here if you want to you can just add a selection delegate as well but uh, you know what I'm gonna do it here uh, as an extension to have it separate so I uh, just here I extend my uh, view controller with exactly the same that over ask me selection delegate but here even I'll, I'll get an error uh, that this one tell me uh, you need to confirm it yes uh, there should be one function that we need to declare it here this is the function when we tap on the menu uh, this function will be triggered so in this function I just say okay print for me selection backslash open and close and here menu selection so what I select but uh, also here I just try to do trigger action for selection also here I'm gonna update that uh, label menu so that menu selection view dot text equal 
description. Okay, so it's gonna update that one for me. Uh, also, yeah, I just remember that uh, I didn't, you know, make it customized. So I just come here and make it a little bit bigger, and then I say okay, make is make it as it is. So to keep this one also I align it to be center vertically and horizontally and I make it to be center also I make it to be something like 20 also I give it dark blue color and label uh, I can say last selection okay and uh, yes uh, in view uh, controller uh, <clears throat> now we need to just go okay if we tap on the slide what we need to do uh, actually just as uh, minimum you may mean so here uh, I just need to trigger my menu actually open my menu so you can go back to that github and here we have exactly one, one what uh, we need to trigger our uh, slide in menu and here you will see that I made uh, some line for menu new help send save setting lock and cancel and here I just say okay this is gonna be my input for my menu and also my I make my background of uh, menu white you can do it whatever you like and here I just say okay slide in handler show a slide in menu and here we have options so I use left I will show you uh, you know you, you have four options this is the cool part of uh, this uh, easy sliding menu for you so yes uh, let's uh, start and see how will be or actually yeah I want uh, to have it on iPhone X plus iPhone 8 plus yes and uh, because I have it already open so I'm gonna run it so to have it here and uh, yes I, t I forgot to copy the pictures yes I say something I'm missing so here are our picture we can go to uh, assets and uh, just drag your picture here you can find this picture in uh, our github as well and uh, you know you will see all the 32 me uh, on 32 sites and uh, yeah let's go to the controller and we need to run it again yeah here you will see if i run it i don't have any images but it's work uh, okay so I just stop this and uh, now if I run it, I run it, uh, it will work but this time I want to run it in from right side so you just dot and here you have your right uh, option so I run it from right and you can see how easy it will work If I tap on the right side, I have menu. Here we go. And uh, you will see that when I tap on it, uh, it will update here and here. Uh, this is because of the simulator, it's coming late here, but in real device, it will work completely. And here you will have exact, uh, you know, your selection and uh, you can trigger you know other view or whatever you like 
and uh, yeah let me run it from button once as well and stop and run and you here you will see just uh, here pretty easy just copy picture add the uh, append this lines uh, to this my menu setting and then call your menu you don't need to do anything extra in uh, you know storyboard so let me run this for one more time there you go now this time from button and uh, yeah you'll see how handy and smooth it's working yeah that's it uh, for today i hope you like this uh, video and enjoy it uh, if you like it please make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to be subscribed for more video are coming and uh, if you have any question please ask in comment especially for improvement of this uh, framework and yes uh, i wish the best for you have a good one bye bye